Hi everyone, in today's class we will look into comparison or we will compare the acid strength of carboxylic acids with alcohols and then with phenols, right? So just to start with, carboxylic acids are more acidic than alcohols and with phenols, right? We will look into the reason why. So we will just write it over here that carboxylic acids is more acidic than alcohols and phenols both right in alcohols and phenols both first thing is clear that since all three are acidic that means they will release hydrogen ions right and when we say that carboxylic acids are more acidic than alcohols and phenols that means carboxylic acids have more tendency to re release hydrogen ions or it can release hydrogen ions more easily right and it has and if you compare the three carboxylic acids will have more hydrogen ions compared to alcohols and phenols in water solution right we'll look into the reason why carboxylic acids is more acidic or why it has more hydrogen ions that makes it more acidic than both uh, than alcohols and phenols right so let's first compare it with the acidic strength of carboxylic acid and alcohols we know that Alcohol generic formula is this, right? It will ionize to form this alkoxide ion plus hydrogen ions, right? And if you take carboxylic acid, it will form its resonance. If you remember, when we did the structure of uh, carboxylate ion, we said that carboxylate ion is in resonance. We'll just study the structure of it, of carboxylate ion. Right? It has a negative charge plus your hydrogen ions. Right? Both are releasing hydrogen ions, but we say carboxylic acid is more acidic than your alcohols. The reason being is this ion, right? This carboxylate ion is more stable than alkoxide ion. Right? Now why it is more stable than alkoxide ion and one thing when we say this ion is more stable than this ion right? if, you, if you look from very basic thing if this is more stable it can stay in solution If this is less stable since we say alkoxide is less stable It will immediately combine with hydrogen ion to give you unionized alcohol molecules right? So more alkoxide ions will combine back with hydrogen ions to give you back these unionized molecules so you have less hydrogen ions right in case of alcohol molecules because this alkoxide ion due to its less stability will combine with hydrogen ions to give you back alcohols if you look at carboxylic acid it forms carboxylate ion and hydrogen ion now this carboxylate ion is more stable right it can stay in solution as it is Right? and will not immediately combine with hydrogen ion to give you back carboxylic acid but it does combine with hydrogen ions but this com combination is less this reverse reaction is less compared to alcohols that is why carboxylic acids are more acidic right so they have more hydrogen ions now if you look at the structure of this carboxylate ion first thing we know that carboxylic acid and carboxylate ion both are stabilized by resonance right since both are stabilized by resonance and carboxylate ion is more stabilized by resonance compared to carboxylic acid now since this is more stabilized so carboxylic acid which is less stabilized compared to carboxylate ion it has more tendency to release hydrogen ions and form carboxylate ion and hydrogen ions right now if you look at the structure basic structure of carboxylate ion we will see that this is how it looks like 1 2 3 4 5 6 negative 1 2 3 4 right This is one of the structure of carboxylate ion. Now what will happen is one of the lone pair will move. 
right? Since we have resonance working in carboxylic ion, this will move, right? And the other resonance form would be, since this electron pair has moved, it will come to this oxygen atom. Now it will have this. So from these two resonance forms, we see that negative charge is spread on these two oxygen atoms. Right? Negative charge is spread on two oxygen atoms. That means this negative this negative charge is kind of is kind of spread or delocalized on two oxygen atoms right because the negative charge is is delocalized on two oxygen atoms that makes this carboxylate ion more stable than alkoxide ion now why this lone pair is moving between these two oxygen atoms because of resonance right that makes it more stable this negative charge is delocalized on two oxygen atoms or what we say is the negative charge is dispersed right is more dis is more dispersed in carboxylate ion it's dispersed on two oxygen atoms that makes carboxylate ion more stable right but if we look at alkoxide ion this is your alkoxide ion right that has negative charge but this negative charge is not delocalized like in carboxylate ion right this negative charge is localized only on oxygen atom right and there is one more thing that makes it more unstable this methyl group say this is CH3 group or any alkyl group this alkyl group is always electron releasing so it will intensify negative charge more on this oxygen atom when negative charge is intensified on this oxygen atom that makes this alkoxide ion more unstable right so that is why this alkoxide ion will immediately combine with hydrogen ion to give you back alcohol molecule thereby you have less hydrogen ions in solution that makes it less acidic right so here we have two things first negative charge is localized on oxygen atom right whenever we have negative charge localized on any of the atom right this can easily be attacked because it is localized it is on one atom Right? So this is easily attackable. So this proton will easily attack this oxygen atom. Right? Since this proton is negative, sorry, this proton is positive, this methyl group will make this oxygen more negative right? by releasing electron towards this oxygen atom. So since this is now more negative due to the presence of this alkyl group, this hydrogen ion has more tendency or this alkoxide ion has more tendency to combine with this positive proton. Right? So reverse reaction is favored where you have less hydrogen ions. Less hydrogen ions means less acidic. Right? So here we say negative charge is localized on oxygen atom. Right? And second thing is you have plus I effect, right? Electron releasing effect, plus I effect of plus I effect of methyl group, R group will intensify intensify or increase we say negative charge on oxygen atom right that will make that will make this alkoxide ion more unstable that will make alkoxide ion more unstable right I hope this is clear whereas if we talk about this carboxylate ion the negative charge is delocalized on two oxygen atoms right that makes it more stable right so due to resonance effect here I write due to resonance your carboxylate ion RCOO minus is more stabilized is more stable right since negative charge is spread negative charge is spread on two oxygen 
right? Or what we call it as delocalization. Remember, negative charge is delocalized on two oxygen atoms, right? So since carboxylate ion is more stable in comparison to alkoxide ion, due to which carboxylic acids are more acidic than your alcohols, right? Now coming on to your phenols. Let's look into phenols. This is your phenol, right? So it will also form phenoxide ion plus your hydrogen ions. Now since phenols are also releasing hydrogen ions, that means they are acidic. But their acidity is less than carboxylic acids. We'll understand why, right? So this is your and phenoxide ion, phenoxide ion, right? So the acidity of phenols is less than carboxylic acids, right? That means you have less hydrogen ions in phenol solution compared to carboxylic acid. Why? Here we see, we saw that this carboxylate ion is more stable due to resonance. Right? But we have resonance in phenoxide and phenol also. Like we have resonance in carboxylate and carboxylic acid. Now let's look at let's look at the resonance forms of phenoxide ion. Right? This short reason why phenoxide phenols are less acidic than carboxylic acid is because phenoxide ion is less stabilized by resonance compared to carboxylate ion. Since this is less stabilized as compared to carboxylate ion, this will immediately combine with hydrogen ion to give you your unionized phenol molecule. So you have less hydrogen ions because this is less stable compared to carboxylate, right? So it will, the reverse reaction will happen and you have less hydrogen ions in reverse reaction, right? So let's look at the resonance forms of phenoxide ion that will help us to understand why phenoxide is less stable than carboxylate ion although both are stabilized by resonance. We have resonance in phenoxide, we have resonance in carboxylate ion. Right? So let's draw the, uh, the resonance forms. Just understand these resonance forms. These are important. Right? This is your phenoxide ion right now right now this lone pair of electron on oxygen atom will move right will enter into benzene ring right due to which phenoxide ion is in resonance, right? This lone pair will move into this benzene ring and will make this ortho and para positions more, it will increase the this when this lone pair will enter into benzene ring, right? Via resonance, it will increase the electron density at ortho and para site, right? We have done this in phenols. Right, let's look at the other structure. Let's draw it. Right now, when this it will move here. You have negative charge here. Right. You have negative charge, this negative charge has come here now, right? And you have a double bond there on the oxygen atom. Now you have a double bond, right? Now this will move further, right? This will move further to your para position, right? It will move further to para position. Like this. 
right now this electron pair has this electron pair has come to this ortho this para position you have negative charge here now it will move further like this right negative charge will come here this is another ortho site right so you have first second third fourth and fifth five resonance forms of phenoxide ion right but we say that phenoxide is less stabilized by resonance compared to carboxylate ion right remember one thing that in carboxylate ion this negative charge is spread on two oxygen atoms right which are more electronegative right and we know that electronegative atoms has higher tendency to keep the electron pair to themselves right so these this negative charge on these two more electronegative oxygen atoms in this molecule we have carbon and oxygen oxygen is more electronegative than your carbon atom so this negative charge is on oxygen atoms right now if you look at all these resonance forms first and second in first and second form negative charge is not delocalized right delocalization of negative charge will always add to the stability delocalization of negative charge will always increase the stability right right so first and second forms negative charge is localized right now if you look at third fourth and fifth resonance forms negative charge is at ortho and para positions and we know that all these are carbon atoms right and carbon is less electronegative than oxygen so negative charge is present on less electronegative carbon atom right that will also not give it more stability right if this negative charge would have been on this more electronegative oxygen atom that adds to the stability right if it is shared by more electronegative atom that adds to the stability right that will increase the stability if negative charge is on more electronegative atoms right but here the negative charge is on less electronegative carbon atom right so these also will not contribute more towards stability these three forms will also not contribute more towards stability because negative charge is on less electron is on less electronegative carbon atom right so we write that in third in fourth and in fifth right your negative charge is on less electronegative carbon atoms right that will again not add to the stability right therefore phenoxide ion we say is less stabilized by by resonance right than the carboxylate ion right so we say that phenoxide ion is less stabilized by resonance compared to compared to carboxylate ion right so that is why since this is less stable because of these resonance forms right this is less stable than carboxylate ion that is why carboxylate ion can form more hydrogen ions due to this more stability of carboxylate ion you have more hydrogen ions in carboxylic acid right whereas in case of phenols due to less stability of phenoxide ions you have less hydrogen ions right that will that means less acidic right just know how to draw these resonance forms and remember since your negative charge 
in these two forms is localized on oxygen atom right which can easily be attacked because this negative charge is on is localized is on two oxygen atoms so this can easily be attacked by hydrogen ions in these three forms negative charge is on less electronegative carbon atoms right which again can be easily attacked right because more electronegative atom has more tendency to attract the shared pair of electrons like in carboxylate ion negative charge is on these two carbon is the, these two oxygen atoms right <clears throat> so this is more delocalized also here the negative charge is not delocalized it is either on oxygen atom in these two forms or on less electronegative carbon atom in these three forms so delocalization is also less right in addition to that negative charge is localized on these oxygen atoms right i hope this is clear so this makes carboxylic acid more stable than phenol uh, more acidic i'm sorry than phenols and alcohols right i hope this is clear thanks